Hi guys, before I start this video and talk about what this video is actually about, I just wanted to do a little mini intro of an intro just to talk about a new giveaway that I have going on that you can feel free to enter to if you haven't already. So basically I'm going to make this really really quick, I have a few prizes up for grabs and the giveaway is actually being run on my Instagram. All the links etc, the ways to enter will be listed down below. The prizes that you can win are this Violet Voss Pro Highlighter Palette. Now I did mention on my Instagram that this has actually been swatched but the reason I put it in the giveaway is because I swatched it and found out that it was too dark for me so literally all that I've done is swatch this palette so you can win that and then next up we've got the sleek totally lit this is a really really nice little gift set just you know to treat yourself to if you want and next up we've got some of my favorite lashes ever these are the eyelore lashes in the shade dreaming of you look how pretty they are they're very very fluttery um, and they're also super be easy to put on and also cruelty free and then finally we have this Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick this is in the shade cool brown and if I just open it up then I can show you what the actual shade looks like obviously I'm not gonna swatch this lipstick or anything because obviously it's for my giveaway but I'm just gonna open it and show you what the shade looks like this lipstick which is the anastasia beverly hills matte lipstick in the shade cool brown if you want to win this giveaway and all these goodies all you need to do is head down to the description bar and have a look at the instagram post that i will have tagged all the details of how to enter will be on there make sure that you subscribe to my youtube and that you also follow my instagram page and yes it is open worldwide the giveaway will end at the end of january like I said, all T's and C's will be in that little post down below. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to get on to the actual video, but feel free to enter. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another video and before I start this video, I'm just gonna say something completely random. Please excuse my hair today. I'm having a very, very chilled day today, which is mad for me because never do I ever chill. So I've just decided to put my hair back. So please excuse that. I have not got dressed up today whatsoever and I'm currently wearing my Victoria's Secret leggings. And um, yeah, basically today's outfit was just kind of put together and my hair was put up. So please excuse that. But today, nevertheless, I'm gonna be doing a video that I've wanted to do for quite a while and I've just kind of put it off like because I've had other videos to do and now I'm kind of at a point in my channel where it's this time of year there's not a lot of product releases so I can't really do any like testing videos and stuff so I decided to do a full face of my favorite drugstore products I think that this would be such a good video if you guys are kind of new to makeup or maybe even if you're not so new but you want to find some good affordable drugstore products are also really really good like everything in this video of my favorite drugstore products ever and most of these I actually use in my daily routine most of my daily makeup looks are drugstore looks anyway so this was pretty easy for me to do nevertheless though if you are new to my channel then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also feel free to give this thumb bit oh every video <laughs> don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up now that I've got my thumb out of my sleeve and um, if you do end up enjoying it and without further ado I'm just gonna roll on to the video and talk about my favorite drugstore products and then put them on my, my camera has just gone really out of focus for no apparent reason and I haven't got my glasses on as you can tell so I can't really see the screen that well so I'm sorry if it's at a weird angle but genuinely I can't see and I'm blind at the moment but nevertheless I'm gonna start off with priming my eyelids which is what I usually do anyway normally I use my P Louise base to prime my eyelids actually normally no not even normally just every single time I do my makeup however it's 10 pounds for the P Louise base and P Louise as a company aren't exactly drugstore prices so I was a little bit if I should put it in or not but I decided not to so to prime my eyelids I'm actually going to use the Revolution Conceal and Define I'm using the shade 0 aka white just to carve out my eyebrows and to prime my eyelids like I said I usually do use the P Louise base in 0.5 that is still really really good but I'm going to use one that I used to use which is this one so I'm just going to carve out my eyebrows which is what I normally do first and then prime my eyelids okay so normally with this I just put a little bit at the back of my hand it's so weird because normally I use like so much P. Louise base and now I'm like how much do I use of this so I'm just gonna put a little bit at the back of my hand and then I'm gonna take Petrin brush just to carve out my eyebrows I 
next I just take a cheap brush that I got from eBay and I just pack that in. I used to go in with my eyeshadow next, but now that I actually do my eyebrows, just so they're out of the way. So I have two eyebrow products that I have been loving. Um, normally I use my Anastasia Dip Brow pretty much every day, but because this is an all drugstore makeup look, I'm going to have to use some others that I do love. So I'm going to mix my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Granite, and also my Revolution Pro Pencil. I'm not sure which shade this is. I think it might be the shade Ebony, but I know that this one is too light and this one is too dark. So I'm going to try and mix both of them together and see how well that works. I have not used an eyebrow pencil on its own for my eyebrows in so long. This is going to be a little bit of an experience. I did do a massive Colourpop order the other day as well, so I will be having a Colourpop haul coming soon. And in it, I did actually order a brow pencil from Colourpop. So now that I've filled in my eyebrows, I'm just going to go in with my clear brow gel from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Clear Brow Gel. Once again, I've ordered some brow gel from Colourpop, but I do get on with this. I really like this one as well. Yes, we're going for more of a natural eyebrow look today, which I don't know how I feel because, like I said, I like pomades, but... Hey, we're just gonna go with it because I don't actually have any drugstore pomades, so I've just had to use a pencil basically. Next up, I'm gonna go in with my eyes, and for my eyeshadow today, I'm gonna use my Revolution Pro and Mischief Matte palette. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I feel like I haven't really used this on my YouTube channel. I've used it a little bit on my Instagram. This costs eight pounds for all these shades and these are so incredibly pigmented so if you want like a good drugstore dupe for like the morphe 35b or like the nyx ultimate brights palette or you just want a bright palette that's drugstore and under 10 pounds this is absolutely a perfect for that i have not had a problem with any of these colors touch wood and i've used this palette quite a few times and used different shades and done different looks with it and um, so yeah if you're looking for a good drugstore alternative this is you you guy i'm feeling quite a colorful eye look today so firstly i'm going to take this shade that i've just stabbed my nail into <laughs> this is the shade shrine and it's this gorgeous purple shade and i'm just going to pack this in my crease i'm just going to zoom in so you can actually see what i'm doing like look how pigmented that is okay i want to deepen that purple up a little bit so i'm going to take this purple shade here this is the shade haunted and i'm just going to pack this over that shade that we've just used okay i'm next going to take another flat brush and i'm going to take this i think i'm going to take this pink shade here this is the shade underdog and i'm just going to pack that above that purple shade i'm not going to blend anything yet um, so if it's not blended, don't don't come at me. I'm also feeling a yellow shade above that, so I'm gonna take this gorgeous yellow shade here, which is the shade New Day, and I'm just gonna pack that above that pink shade that we've just used using another small packing brush. We're all talking about the yellow from the James Charles palette, which don't get me wrong, is amazing. But like this is from an eight pound palette. I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna blend those three together and blend them out a little bit as well. Okay, so I'm next gonna take some more of the Conceal and Define and I'm gonna use it just to cut my crease. So I'm gonna use a another little brush for this. Okay, so now that I've cut my crease, I'm going to go in with a blue shade and I'm going to take this gorgeous blue shade here, which is the shade Indication, and I'm just going to pack that on the outer and inner corners of my eyes. Next, just going to take this light green shade here. This is the shade Believer, and I'm going to take a packing brush once again and pack that just next to the blue. Okay, and then I'm just going to take this yellow shade here again. This is the shade New Day, and I'm just going to put that in the middle of my lid. Okay, so finally, I think it's a little bit dull just using matte shades. So I'm going to take this silver shade here from the I Heart Revolution Fortune Seeker palette, and I'm just going to pack this in with the yellow. 
Next up, I go in with mascara just for my top eyelashes. So for mascara, oh my gosh, I think if you've been watching my channel for the past year, and even the last couple of videos, you'll probably know what my favourite mascara is. I'm going to be using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And this is my favourite mascara ever. Like, it just lengthens my eyelashes so nicely. Oh yeah, in case you didn't know as well, this mascara is literally £3.30. And you can get it from Wilkinson's or you can get it on Amazon. So, yeah, super cheap, affordable. And everything in this video is also cruelty free as well. Okay, so next up I'm going to go and prime my face ready for my base. So, for primer, I'm using one that... It's a little bit pricey, but it's still drugstore. This is the NYX Honey Dew Me Up Primer. This is £15 from the Boots website, but I'm sure on Feel Unique, they were selling it for about 11 Basically, this is like a honey primer, but it's really good if you want like glowy, dewy skin. Really nice base for your foundation to stick to, especially if you have dry skin like I do. I absolutely love this so much. I've used so much of it, and I probably need to buy a new one. And this is the first primer that I've actually used that I'm like, you know what, it's my favourite. It was also in my favourites video as well. You'll probably notice it from that, but yeah, I love it. I blend this in with my fingers because I don't want any bacteria to really get in my primer. So I'm just going to use a brush to blend this in because I feel like it also blends nicer with a brush so i'm just using a really cheap bh cosmetics one next i go in with my foundation and pretty much all my foundations are drugstore so it was hard for me to find one where i was like you know what i'll use it for this video but today i'm going to talk about one that i haven't actually talked about for a long ass time this is the sleek life proof foundation i have the shade lp01 i really really do like this foundation i feel like it's not talked about as much as it should be this retails at eight pounds 99 which is super affordable under 10 pounds for a foundation the shade range isn't crazy amazing but it is a good foundation and it is actually a really good skin match for my skin as well it's not too white but it's not too dark either the only problem is i wish it came in like a squirty like pump tube and um, but it just comes in a tube where you have to kind of like squirt it out and it does come out really fast when you first buy it because this is actually a new one and it is quite messy but foundation wise it's really really good so i just kind of like dollop some <laughs> wherever i can and then i normally go in with my morphe sponge and i use that to blend it on Next, I'm going to go in with concealer and I was going to use my Revolution Conceal and Define because that is one of my favourites but everyone pretty much knows it, knows what it's like and uses it. So I wanted to try something a little bit different, one that's not really talked about as much. I'm going to use the Barry M All Night Long Concealer. I have the shade Milk. I feel like this is an absolutely perfect shade for me and the concealer is really good coverage as well. Like you can see how light that is under my eyes. So. I'm just going to pack that on and use it to highlight the areas that I need it to. Mess, I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I'm a mess. For powder, I've been using my Kiko Radiant Fusion Powder. It's really, really good if you want a dewy finish. However, I wouldn't say that Kiko was really drugstore. Only because the prices with Kiko go like really, really low. And then they can be like so extortionately high for the brand so i feel like overall i won't count it as a drugstore brand so i'm going to use another powder that i actually really really do like this is the wet and wild pressed powder you will find that there is a lot of wet and wild in this video mainly because i like wet and wild a lot more than i ever thought i would do a lot of their products are featured in this video because they're so affordable and so good i'm going to use this powder this is in the shade natural beige i picked up the wrong shade so i don't know if this will be too dark for me or not but it does look quite light so i think i might just get away with it but okay i don't think that was actually that much of a bad color match i prefer the other shade that's a little bit lighter but i feel like i can just about get away with it so i'll just kind of leave it that and pretend that that is it next i'm gonna go with bronzer by the way i do my makeup in a really really weird order i am going back to my lower lash line soon for bronzer i'm gonna use another wet and wild product and i use this every single day no lie i don't use any other bronzer apart from this this is the wet and wild contouring palette this is in the shade light and basically it comes with a bronzer shade and then it also comes with a powder here i only use this bronzer shade i'm not too sure about how well the powder works well, a bronzer shade is just really really good for me 
it's not too dark but it's not too light either like it just warms up my face really really nicely oh i put way too much on then it was not meant to happen i'm a mess i'm a mess i'm a mess i'm a mess i'm gonna try and blend that out as best as possible oh i really just dumped that on didn't i i think i might just ignore this side of my face and just concentrate on this side because this side just no, yeah. Can't all be good at makeup, okay? We can all like makeup, but it doesn't mean we have to be good at it. I, you can see. I mean, I think you saw from that how pigmented the shade actually is. Please ignore this side. This looks very, very messy and muddy. We're just gonna concentrate on this side instead, so it's fine. Next up, I'm gonna go in with highlighter, and for highlighter, I'm gonna use my Sofex Makeup Revolution highlighter palette. Absolutely love this. I'm gonna take this gold shade here. I always flip and use this. I don't hit pan on this one but ever since I hit pan I'm kind of reluctant to use it because I don't want it to run out. I feel like I'm going to hit pan on the gold shade very very soon. This is £8 for this highlighter palette and just watch. Oh, put some down here on my nose and on my forehead and just basically put highlighter all over your body. <laughs> I've just realised how long I've been filming for, so I'm so sorry if this is a long ass video, but I'm just sorry. I just ramble, don't I? Go in with my lower lash line, so I'm going to take my Mischief Matte palette again. And I think we're going to go for a blue lower lash line today. So I'm going to take this blue shade again. This is the shade Indication, and I'm just going to run this along with my lower lash line. Don't want to run it along too much though because we're gonna do a little something something. Next up, I'm gonna finish off my lower lash line and I'm gonna use a product that you might not have ever heard of before. These are actually an upcoming brand and the prices aren't too bad. So I'm just gonna add this in this video because one, they're not very well known and I know that a lot of you are normally on the lookout for a good upcoming brand and one that's quite independent, I think this is quite an independent brand as well. This is 3INA, they are actually sold on ASOS. And I'm going to use their colour, what is this? This is the Fluoro Cream Eyeshadow and I'm going to run this in my waterline because it's this gorgeous neon yellow. I am obsessed with neon colours and having it in my waterline. So I'm going to run this along just to keep that yellow theme in there. My eyes are very sensitive so I don't know how good an idea this is and I might hate myself for it but it's fine it's for the video so it's okay. Okay and then next up I'm going to take this Revolution Flawless Foils this is in the shade Rebound and I'm just going to use this for my inner corner highlight because these are so pigmented and so nice. I think these are like six pounds as well they're really really good. Just look at that. Okay, next I'm going to go back in with my Essence Mascara and I'm just going to do my lower lashes. Okay, so I'm just going to put on some lashes just to complete this look and then I'll be right back and we'll do lipstick and then I'll go into my favourite setting spray. I know my eyelashes are a little bit dodgy but I've literally been doing them for 20 minutes. T minutes. T minutes. <laughs> I give up. Next I'm going to go in with lipstick and for lipstick I'm going to use my favourite nude of all time. This is the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Bear It All. Oh gosh guys this is like £2.99 and look how amazing that is. By the way the formula, keep my mirror first, the formula is actually really really creamy so if you struggle with dry lips like me or you would like something a little bit more moisturising these are amazing. Finally, to finish everything off, I'm going to go in with setting spray, and this is actually my second favourite setting spray of all time. This is the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. This retails at £7. They also do do a matte one, but like I did mention, I love a dewy look, so this is absolutely perfect for that. Let's spray. Okay, so that is basically all my favourite drugstore products and a full drugstore makeup look. If you did enjoy this video and you did find it helpful, then don't forget to smash it a big massive thumbs up. And also feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure you do also tap that bell down below so you are notified every single time I post a new video. As always, all my social media links will be linked down there. And I am doing Instagram videos coming very, very soon. Make sure to go follow me on there if you don't already. As always, thank you so incredibly much for watching and hopefully I will see you on my next video.
Bye.